Well, the big story of the week was this. MPs reject a Labour call for free school meals to be extended through the holidays for children in England. The footballer Marcus Rashford, who's campaigned on the issue, says he will continue to press the government to change its mind and offer free meals during school holidays. It's so insensitive about the issue and they've definitely not, not been through it themselves. Damn right! It's an absolute disgrace! Our government voted to keep vulnerable children in this state. We try not to eat a lot in one day. Even though um, most of us are really hungry, we have to be careful with our food. It's horrific. Boris spent all summer using three-word slogans. Stay at home, go back out, hands face space. Here's a three-word slogan for you, you heartless fuckwit. Feed <laughs> the kids! <laughs> exactly. This tweet put it best. If the government can subsidise Eat Out to Help Out, not being seen to give poor kids lunch in the school holidays looks mean and is wrong. Exactly! And do you know who wrote that? Nigel Farage! <laughs> Even he disagrees with them. <laughs> Who else is against it? Voldemort, <laughs> Joffrey, <laughs> the ghost of Jimmy Savile. <laughs> if Nigel Farage is making you look like the bad guy, then you fucked up. <laughs> Last year, people were throwing milkshakes at him. <laughs> if Boris goes out, he's going to get hit by a cow. <laughs> Why did they vote against paying for kids' meals? We do it for MPs. Taxpayers stumped up 57 grand a week to subsidise food and drink for politicians. That's 2.9 million a year. And here's the kicker. They bitch about it. They complained about undercooked bacon, eggs taking too long to fry, <laughs> and soggy jam roly-polies. <laughs> Some kids are starving and they're like, my pudding's too squidgy. <laughs> I'll tell you why it's soggy. If I was a chef making food for MPs, <laughs> I'd be adding some of my special sauce as well. <laughs> Jizz. Just, I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're like chill, and the fact because I've got a lazy eye, two of you are going, did he say to us? <laughs> They're like children. Look at the reason Tory peer Nicky Morgan reckons the government voted against feeding kids. Well, I, I think the Labour Party might have found they got more supporters yesterday if the Deputy Labour leader hadn't called one of the Conservative MPs scum. I can't believe they called us scum. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Christ, most people would have reacted like this lady. Oh, shut up, you cunt! <laughs> when the Tories hit the streets, they're going to need fucking earmuffs. <laughs> they voted against it because they were called a name. Can you imagine if Churchill had done that? Shall we fight them on the beaches? No. <laughs> Hitler called me a willy head. <laughs> And let's not forget, Churchill was a man who looked like a jam roly poly. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't they find the money to fund this? It's nothing compared to what they've reportedly wasted this year. They spent 150 million buying unusable masks, 10 billion on a bungle test and trace system, and 16 million on COVID tests that didn't even work. Christ, during a pandemic, Boris Johnson's plane was rebranded at a cost of £900,000. They spent nearly a million quid painting a plane. A plane that, because of Covid, can't fucking go anywhere! <laughs> it's just... Where, where is the logic? It's like a man in a coma getting a back sack and crack. <laughs> You're not having it, Grandad. <laughs> if he wants it painted, people would do it for free. <laughs> How they 
they spend our money is outrageous. I mean, how can our government justify this? The Cabinet Office is searching for a 60 grand a year photographer to help boost the government's image. 60 grand! You pay someone a million quid, Boris will always look like he's just woken up in a skip. <laughs> Politicians aren't photogenic. The slightest thing can affect them, whether it's a football, <laughs> a mic, <laughs> or constipation. <laughs> People don't care how you look, they care what you do. If you want a photo that boosts your image, here's one. Marcus Rashford at a food bank working for free. That is what a leader looks like. His actions have galvanised the nation. Dozens of cafes, pubs and restaurants, as well as several local councils, have stepped in to offer free school meals for children in England during half term. This is what it's all about, is helping each other. It is very disheartening and, uh, you know, we make, make to realise how, how much we take life for granted. Fresh fruit, we've got drinks, snacks. If it costs us a week with wages, we're, we're quite happy to do it. Spend some money and feed some children. It's as simple as that. Never forget, when the government saved their quids, the people fed the kids. It feels like... It feels like we're bereft of leadership, doesn't it? I mean, Christ, a lot of people wanted this lady to be Prime Minister. I'm 83. I don't give a sod. I look at it this way. I've not got all that many years left of me, and I'm not going to be fastened in a house when the government have got it all wrong. We need... How can we get the country on its feet? Money-wise, where's all the money? By the end of this year, there's going to be millions of people unemployed, and you know who's going to pay for it? All the young ones. Not me, cos I'm going to be dead. <laughs> They'll be in the red, I'll be fucking dead. <laughs> I'm not sure she'd be a great Prime Minister. She's not really into the fame. How is it being an overnight celebrity? How do you feel? Uh, not very nice, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, I'm 83. <laughs> give a sod. <laughs> now, talking to leaders over in America, less than a week to go until the US election, did you see why Trump was attacking CNN? The pandemic. Pandemic. They're getting tired of the pandemic, aren't they? Getting tired of the pandemic. You turn on CNN, that's all they cover. COVID, COVID, pandemic, COVID, COVID, COVID. Oh, oh, oh. Why are they mentioning a virus that's killed 200,000 Americans? <laughs> when Trump is out there talking about what really matters. I brought back the old light bulb. <laughs> the real issues. Dishwashers now have a lot more water. Yes, they do! <laughs> of course, the only time he mentions COVID is to promote Regeneron. But between you and me, I don't think he took Regeneron. I think he took cocaine. He gave me Regeneron. And I wake up the next morning and I felt like Superman. I ripped my shirt off. <laughs> I want to go back. I want to go. We got to go and beat China and we got to beat everybody. We got to beat everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, China. We got light bulbs. We got dishwashers. <laughs> it's not just Coke. He's on ecstasy. He thinks everything's beautiful. Two beautiful hands. The most beautiful bikes. Beautiful transcribers. Beautiful, clean coal. Beautiful new equipment. A beautiful dog. Beautiful world wars. Beautiful bars. Beautiful big new factory. Beautiful walls. Beautiful fraud. Beautiful letter from Kim Jong-un. A giant, beautiful, <laughs> massive, the biggest ever in our country, tax cut. <laughs> Did you see the final presidential debates? Holy shit. Trump had the audacity to say this. I am the least racist person in this room. <laughs> <laughs> and what did he say minutes later? Look at China, how filthy it is. <laughs> Look at Russia. Look at India. It's filthy. It's filthy. <laughs> how can I be racist? Some of my best friends are white. <laughs> There's more. Check out this claim. Nobody has done more for the black community than Donald Trump. <laughs> Rosa Parks? <laughs> Martin Luther King? 
Malcolm X, Jesse Jackson, Barack Obama. Fuck me, Shaggy's done more. <laughs> but will he take the credit? It wasn't me. <laughs> That's a really silly joke, but I like it. Now, when Trump wasn't talking shit, he was talking bollocks. Look what he accused Biden of. They want to knock down buildings and build new buildings with little, tiny, small windows. They want tiny windows. <laughs> Don't laugh, madam. <laughs> little, tiny windows in the middle of a door. <laughs> That's a letterbox, you think, for... <laughs> Mind you, if you think tiny windows is insane, how about this for a boast? I know more about wind than you do. <laughs> I'm a wind genius. <laughs> a breezy brainiac. There isn't a whoosh, breeze or gale that escapes <laughs> <laughs> my gusty knowledge. In fact, sometimes for a hoot, I'll hang my head out of a window like this. <laughs> Which might explain this look. It wasn't just wind and windows. Trump refused to denounce right-wing conspiracy group QAnon. You're probably thinking, who are QAnon? My friends, I'm about to blow your mind. It's the latest conspiracy theory sweeping the internet. This is what Trump thinks of them. Well, I don't know much about the movement other than I understand they like me very much, uh, which I appreciate. I've heard these are people that love our country. And here is what they stand for. So QAnon is a very elaborate conspiracy theory that purports that the world's controlled by an elite cabal of Satan-worshipping pedophiles. Uh, the QAnon community believes that this cabal, they control everything, including the media, Hollywood, and especially politicians like Hillary Clinton. Interesting. <laughs> Anything else? Celebrities and political elites actually farm children in underground caves so that they can drink blood, which supposedly staves off aging. Right, so the world is controlled by Satan-worshipping celebs who drink babies' blood so they can look young. I'm no expert, but surely the proof that this is bollocks is Hillary Clinton's face. I mean, either she's been drinking the wrong toddler juice, or that is the face of an old woman. None of these Satanists look good. Christ, Bill Clinton looks like Senator Palpatine. <laughs> Bill Gates looks like an embarrassed mole. <laughs> George Soros looks like a haunted ball bag. <laughs> and Ellen... Ellen looks like someone who spent the summer fighting allegations of workplace bullying. <laughs> it wasn't me! All right, Shaggy. It's not just baby blood. According to QAnon, the US government created AIDS, polio, Lyme disease, some natural disasters, two Indiana Jones movies and the Pixar movie Monsters, Inc. <laughs> that must be a weird office. <laughs> what are you working on? Oh, we're just uh, injecting AIDS into robot mosquitoes. <laughs> How about you? Peppa Pig the movie. <laughs> There's more. They think pizza means something very different. Pizza is a code word for child pornography. Cheese pizza, child pornography. I believe this because cheese pizza and child porn have the same initials. That doesn't mean anything. My initials are RH. Doesn't mean I want to rim hedgehogs. <laughs> <laughs> what do they think KFC stands for? Kitty Fiddler Club. The point... <laughs> Although it is finger licking good. The point I'm making <laughs> if cheese pizza means child porn, and take a look at this. <laughs> They're relentless. These swivel-eyed lunatics believe Oprah Winfrey's house had been cordoned off by authorities and was being excavated for underground tunnels. Because apparently there's a tunnel where all the babies are delivered so Oprah can turn them into smoothies. <laughs> now, what I don't get, how can you think Oprah's a baby blood-drinking toddler toucher, but Trump, a man who's hung out with Jeffrey Epstein, is the pussy grabbing messiah? <laughs> they are abusing children. A, where's the proof? B, if you want proof of child abuse, Trump put kids in cages. I mean, Christ, remember what he said about his own daughter. If Ivanka weren't my daughter, perhaps I'd be dating her. 
You can't be the saviour of mankind if your own daughter is in your wank bank. <laughs> to quote my nan.